Welcome to the PICO tutorial for the Mastering Medical Information course. This tutorial describes a method for constructing a literature search that will enable you to find information on the clinical situations that you encounter. This will in turn help you to provide the best care. This method is called PICO. Nope, it's not just for nachos anymore. It's also a tool. Well, not that kind of tool. PICO is a clinical tool that helps you to transform an information need into an answerable clinical question so that you can search the literature efficiently. Each of the four letters in PICO represent a common component of a clinical question. The P stands for patient, population, or problem. The I refers to the intervention or exposure. C stands for the comparative intervention or exposure. And finally, O stands for outcome. There is also an optional fifth letter in the PICO method, T, which refers to the type of clinical question being considered. Before we get into the details of using PICO, let's review some information about questions. If your question concerns general information, such as who, what, where, and so on, then it is a background question. You can usually find answers to these questions in textbooks and other reference materials. If your question deals with specific information on managing a patient, then it is a foreground question. Your answer can usually be found in the research literature. Next, let's consider the most common clinical question types. This is the silent T in PICO. When searching the literature, it's important to know what kind of clinical question you are trying to answer. Typically, your question will fall into one of these four categories. A therapy question involves information on the effectiveness and or the risk associated with a specific treatment. Is this intervention more effective than another? A diagnosis question is concerned with the accuracy of a diagnostic tool or test. Etiology and harm questions ask about the causes or risk factors associated with a disease or condition. Finally, prognosis questions involve information about the probable outcome, progression, or survivability of a disease or condition, and the likelihood that it will occur. The real value of PICO is that it's methodical. This enables you to think through the present problem before you sit down to the keyboard. When you need information, begin by using PICO to break it down. Doing this helps you to separate the most important concepts from the less relevant details. Start by identifying the most important characteristics of the patient, including the disease or condition and any relevant information. Next, describe the intervention you are considering for your patient. Is it a drug, a surgical procedure, a diagnostic test? Then, describe the main alternative being considered for comparison. Is it a different drug or procedure, no treatment, a placebo? Next, identify the outcome you are concerned about. Is it symptom control, reduced mortality, accurate and timely diagnosis? Finally, consider what type of clinical question you have. This becomes important when you must determine which resources to use for your literature search. Let's try one for practice. Consider the following scenario. A 45-year-old woman with clinical depression reads in Red Book that St. John's wort can be taken for depression. As her physician, what research can you find on the effectiveness of St. John's Ward in treating depression in adults? Using PICO, let's identify the important concepts. First, who is the patient? The patient is a 45-year-old woman with clinical depression. Now, what intervention are you considering to treat her? St. John's Ward. What is the comparison treatment? It is a placebo. What is the desired outcome? It is the efficacy in treatment of depression. Finally, what kind of clinical question is this? It is a therapy question. Thus, our clinical question could be stated as follows. Is St. John's wort more effective than placebo in the treatment of clinical depression in adult women? The next step is to use the PICO to pick out the important concepts to use when conducting the literature search. Remember the nachos from earlier? Treat your search terms like hot peppers. A little goes a long way, so start with the essentials and add more as needed. When it comes to search terms to pick, the intervention is usually the most helpful, followed by the comparison and the patient. The outcome is usually least helpful when choosing search terms. 
Therefore, the concepts that we will use for our literature search are St. John's wort and clinical depression. Let's see what this search looks like in PubMed. Begin your search at the Minor Library homepage by clicking on the link to PubMed. Once you are in PubMed, click on the Clinical Queries link. A clinical query is an efficient way to find evidence-based clinical medicine articles. Begin your search by typing your search terms into the search box. And then click the search button. Use the specialized filter under the Clinical Studies category to narrow your search to the kind of clinical question that you are trying to answer. The default filter is therapy, but the other question types are available by clicking the drop-down arrow. The results show the first five citations from a set of 244. You can click on a specific title to read the abstract, or you can click on the See All link to see the complete results list. The second citation looks like it is relevant to our topic. You can click on the title of the article and read the abstract to evaluate the quality of the study. Notice also that there are 51 systematic reviews in the next column of results. This is another type of PubMed filter that narrows the search results to systematic reviews, meta-analyses, reviews of clinical trials, evidence-based medicine, consensus development conferences, and guidelines. Considering these results is important because systematic reviews represent the highest level of evidence for clinical questions. There are a few points to keep in mind when using PICO. First, if your question does not fit into the PICO framework, it is probably a broader background question. Refer to textbooks and reference materials for answers to these kinds of questions. For diagnosis questions, the diagnostic tool or test is the intervention. The comparison is the best tool or test, also known as the gold standard. And the outcome is the ability to predict the presence of disease. For prognosis questions, the intervention is a prognostic factor, such as the size of a tumor or a complicating illness. And the comparison is the lack of such a factor. The outcome is the quantity of life that can be expected. For etiology questions, the intervention is some form of exposure, and the comparison is the lack of such exposure. Finally, the outcome is the progression to a disease state. When you have an information need, begin with the PICO formula. You will find your questions are more focused and your search results are more relevant. Thank you for watching and best of luck on the PICO assignment.